welcome to this session so in the case discussion first thing i'll tell you a good diagnosis is governed by following things one that you should have a very sound knowledge of the topic second you should be good in observation and third that you should be able to correlate clinically you should be able to correlate clinically means that your findings should match with the clinical findings and it is not that on the basis of clinical findings you just make a diagnosis now let us see this case in the still picture it looks almost like a sac like area within the uterine cavity this is the uterus here and uh, this is uh, the isthmus part and then the cervix now let us play the video and you will get a better picture then. Now I play the video and what can I make out? Now the picture changes. What can I make out here right now? I can see here that the thing which was appearing like a sac is nothing but fluid collection in the uterine cavity. The second thing which I can make out here is that this fluid collection has a level. This is referred to as a fluid, fluid level. Now fluid, fluid level means that there are two different densities of fluid. The one which is lighter here, the darker one, and the one which is here is the denser one. This has internal echoes. Now the commonest cause of internal echoes within the uterine cavity of course is blood followed by pus. So let us consider first the blood part. Now here you can make out that there is fluid collection in the uterine cavity that is one thing and the other thing is this fluid collection has probably blood area and this has a level which means two different densities of fluid. Now whenever such a collection is there in the uterine cavity we should always try to see close to the internal loss because this is the level where majority of the causes of obstruction are there. Since there is a fluid fluid level, it means that distal to it, there is a possibility of some obstruction. So let us play the video further and try to look out for the obstruction area. Let us see here. Now here as we play the video, what we can make out? Let us see more carefully. Now here, there is some triangular type of contraction of the lower uterine segment. Let us see further. Here again you can make out that there is a triangular type of a contraction. See further again here. Here we can make out again the triangular type of a contraction of the lower uterine segment almost at the level of isthmus. Just next to it and proximal to it here we can see there is a track which is more or less a uh, triangular type of a thing and this track has some fluid collection. Now what is the diagnosis here? One thing is clear that there is fluid collection with internal echoes, probably blood collection here. Second thing which we are now coming up to is that this is likely to be due to this contraction or narrowing at this level and Third thing is that this contraction or narrowing has some relation with this area. Now, what is this area? Let us go on to this thing. Now, this is a case of previous caesarean section. Now, in many cases of previous caesarean, the scar area may move more towards the uterine cavity and this scar may have some fluid collection also as you can see in this case. Now what do you refer to this scar? Extension, scar extension. This is known as caesarean scar defect or uterine niche or it is also called isthmocele because it is roughly at the level of isthmus. Now because of this scarring and this defect, this is causing a contracture type of a thing and that is producing this 
permanent contraction of the lower uterine segment anteriorly and that is pressing here at the level of internal loss and that is the reason of this whole problem out here. Let us play the video further. Now let us see here. Again you can make out. See here. Further. You can see here again that there is a contraction of the lower uterine segment and this contraction is because of a proximal area the caesarean scar defect referred to as uterinish or isthmocele and this is the reason for whole problem. This fluid collection will internally cause and this contraction and this uterine niche. So that's all.